Since 2008, after the return of peace and stability and the onset of reconstruction, Burundi has had a massive influx of refugees. Faced with the urgent task of welcoming back and reintegrating more than 500,000 landless repatriates, the Burundian government, with the support of the international community, launched a vast program to construct 10 integrated rural villages, VRIs. 80% of homes have been given to returning families and 20% to vulnerable families from the host communities. C'était le souci d'une réintégration, euh, d'une cohésion, parce que on ne pouvait pas voir des gens de même catégorie groupés à un seul à un endroit, alors que le village n'était pas en camp. Donc c'était pour euh, que ces gens se réintègrent réellement. The integrated rural villages of Bururi, Makamba, and Rutana provinces have benefited from a government initiative to improve their community's viability. The program is funded by the European Union and implemented through a joint action of UN agencies. Au niveau de la réforme des Nations Unies, des indications claires ont été données aux agents des Nations Unies pour travailler de façon coordonnée au niveau des pays. C'est sur cette base que les agences impliquées dans ce programme ont développé des synergies. Au niveau de l'Union européenne, euh, on a souhaité euh, donc appuyer la, la dynamisation de ces villages. Et euh, donc pour ce faire, on a souhaité mobiliser l'expertise et les compétences des agences des Nations Unies spécialisées en la matière, donc euh, PNUD, UNICEF et FAO. In this interagency program, the FAO provides support for agriculture and livestock. UNICEF improves access to safe water, hygiene and sanitation and UNDP works to create employment and build social cohesion. Access to land in Burundi is a major problem. The houses in the VRIs have a limited land for cultivation. How do you want to live a family of six people, seven people, with a superficie of six hours? C'est très très difficile et c'est la raison pour laquelle la FAO, avec le financement de l'Union européenne, a essayé de pallier à cette situation. In order to boost agricultural activities and combat malnutrition, FAO has developed various strategies. Additional arable plots of 0.5 hectares were allocated to families near or within the VRIs. More than 1,800 kilograms of vegetable and fruit plant seeds were distributed and young trees were planted. Beneficiaries received the necessary equipment, manure and fertilizers and were supervised by local associations, especially in rationed pesticides used to increase fertility and production in areas where soils were degraded. We are here to explain to the beneficiaries how to use the pesticides. If we don't pulverize, we can have a loss of two thirds of the harvest. A less known practice, the kitchen garden, was introduced in the household plots providing a solution to the lack of farmable land. With its layered structure, the kitchen garden allows for planting a variety of crops and offers a small harvest directly available for household consumption. Still with the aim of ensuring livelihoods and improving household incomes, FAO funded the distribution of livestock and poultry. Six hens, three female goats, and eight male goats of improved variety were distributed to 200 households. <laughs> These strategies, combined with the distribution of fruit trees, 
including papaya, orange, and banana, have allowed some families to transform the area around their homes into small model farms. Other sectors were encouraged, including mushroom cultivation and beekeeping. 200 modern beehives and accessories were made available for the cultivation of honey, and 11 associations have been trained and given starter kits for growing mushrooms. These activities have proved to be very profitable. Within each integrated rural village, a storehouse was built. In addition to serving as places of storage, they also serve as small units of agricultural transformation. In Burundi, 16% of deaths of under five children are due to diarrheal diseases, primarily caused by inadequate access to safe water, hygiene, and sanitation. To improve the health and living conditions of the people in the VRIs, the second component to this project was to provide them access to basic services. UNICEF and its partners had the task of developing drinking water infrastructure in 10 VRIs across the three provinces. Water sources located at high altitude and in close proximity to the VRIs are channeled and collected. Through a system of filters, deposits are removed and purified water flows into the VRIs through gravity. The uh, objective, effectivement, is to be able to have this collect d'eau. That's the first thing. But the second thing is to allow the water to stay safe and propice to the human human. At the heart of integrated rural villages, fountains are installed at intervals of 500 meters in order to limit the distance to collect water to under one kilometer round trip. Each fountain supplies an average of 40 houses or 230 people with clean water. Residents of host communities who cross or pass through the VRIs also benefit from the access to water. Different populations meet and socialize while filling their buckets. Starting at the source and continuing to the VRIs, fountains are installed every two kilometers to provide the surrounding villages and other communities with access to clean water. Each fountain is managed by a water committee composed of five people. The committee is responsible for the maintenance of the fountain and also for sensitizing the population to good hygiene practices. Remediation efforts have been carried out, including the construction of latrines in schools. Visits to health centers have significantly lowered. Three 
No, can you manage here to get about to hire Martinez? In the third component of the program, UNDP has initiated a socio-economic development approach articulated in three phases. The first phase embodies rapid employment of returning men and women and those of the host community through rehabilitation of community infrastructures. Roads were thus redeveloped and six covered markets were built near VRIs. The new, solid, and covered structures provide better conditions and facilitate trade. Due to its strategic location and the redeveloped surrounding roadways, the market has become a rich place of exchange. Secondly, with the savings achieved thanks to the temporary employment, Beneficiaries were encouraged to form associations and create IGAs, income generating activities. The villages hosting the integrated rural villages have seen a number of micro projects develop in their town centers. <laughs> The <laughs> Ça a permis euh, effectivement de réintégrer les populations des villages pour les rapprocher des communautés et de la communauté d'accueil. Il, il a été créé des associations mixtes composées des gens qui habitaient les verries et des gens qui étaient dans les communautés d'accueil. The work of social reconciliation is thus strengthened through the promotion of local development. In the third phase, IGA members are assisted in professionalizing and developing their activities into small and medium-sized businesses. Another supporting project to improve the living conditions of the inhabitants of the VRIs aims at rebuilding the old houses which had become dilapidated. Still with the funding from the European Commission, UNDP has provided press machinery which stabilized bricks. Voilà donc des maisons qu'on avait construites auparavant étaient construites par des briques adobe. Ces briques ne résistent plus à la pluie. Une autre maison ici, c'est une maison construite par des briques pressées. These stabilized bricks are innovative, both sustainable and ecological. Because wood is not needed to cook them, they don't contribute to reforestation. Their composition includes 5% cement, which makes them more weather resistant. The villagers and VRI inhabitants have been trained on the use of the machine to make these new bricks and in building houses. <laughs> Gradually, 
kubera twe turi hafi ikigwati na kare twe tubanyeho neza ubuho urumva biriyongera kubera twama turi ngaha a le veri était vraiment une bonne opportunité de ramener les gens de leur assurer un toit mais plus que cela d'assurer la cohésion sociale parce qu'ils vivent au sein des communautés d'accueil donc euh, travailler sur la cohésion de ces deux groupes, puisqu'il y a un groupe qui rentre, euh, un autre qui se trouve déjà au pays, c'est vraiment un, un facteur primordial pour assurer le développement à long terme euh, dans un pays qui sort de crise comme le Burundi. Ces activités les ont unis et les ont aidés à se développer en même temps. Social cohesion, improved living conditions and promotion of the local economy are the main focus of the VRI assistance program. Big challenges remain, but the joint action of UN agencies allow these various communities to move forward so that development in Burundi can be inscribed in the everyday footprint of the country.